Hello and welcome everyone to our today's webinar organized by Insights Bharat. I am Advocate Neha Jain and we at Insights Bharat are back again with a session on another important subject that is implementation of animal birth control ABC program as per the ABC rules 2001 formulated under the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Act 1960 which is the only human and scientific solution to issues relating to stray dogs and their population management. Street dogs have always been a part and parcel of Indian urban and rural life like many other developing countries in the world. Many of these animals live in close contact with human beings. In India, for more than 150 years up to the year 2001, mass killing of street dogs through various forms, including electrocution, shooting, and poisoning were seen as the only solution by the authorities to address the issue of overpopulation of street dogs and deaths due to rabies. Some sporadic but illegal killings still continue to take place in many parts of India. Much of the research and experiences of internationally reputed organizations such as the World Health Organization, WHO, World Organization for Animal Health, OIE, Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, FAO, and independent researchers suggest that killing street dogs can have no correlation with the objective of reducing their population or reducing the number of dog bites or deaths caused by rabies. However, as a matter of experience, dispute over dogs are growing day by day, which has become a matter of concern. Unfortunately, fear and ignorance have led many Indian citizens and officials to see street dogs as nothing but a nuisance and to seek eradication using inhuman methods such as poisoning and beating. But for every dog killed, another typically comes in to take over that dog's territory. The only scientific method to humanly reduce street dog population is mass spay and neuters, commonly known as Animal Birth Control ABC program, which has been launched after considerable amount of research and after having considered experience of various countries. Team Insights Bharat have reason to believe that disputes are mainly due to lack of awareness. What is ABC program and how it can solve this issue is not known to most of the citizens and therefore clash happens. In order to make the residents of the society understand the ABC program, how it is useful in dealing with issues related to stray dogs and uh, the consequences that may arise if the said program is not implemented, we the team of Insights Bharat have organized this session today as part of our social responsibility with our esteemed guest speaker and an expert on this subject, none other than Ms. Gauri Moleki. Uh, towards the end of the session, having an interactive question and answer segment. To engage in today's interactive session, participants may drop the questions in the comment section or live chat, and the same will be taken up during the question and answer round to the extent possible. Now, without further delay, I would like to invite my co-host advocate Karan Shilke to welcome and introduce our honored speaker for today's session. Thank you, Sneha, ma'am. It is an honor for me to introduce our today's esteemed speaker, Ms. Gauri Moleki. Ms. Gauri Moleki is the trustee of People for Animals, which happens to be India's largest animal welfare organization. She is also the member secretary of People for Animals Uttarakhand, which is the legal and policy wing of its parent organization, People for Animals. Since the year 1994, she has contributed to the field of animal welfare in various capacities, such as policy reform, capacity building law enforcement authorities, public awareness, as well as sheltering. Ms. Moleki serves as a resource person and a trainer for the state police for more than eight states and has held workshops on animal welfare at National Judicial Academy Bhopal and at various state judicial academies. Through her efforts of seeking judicial prevention of courts, prevention of cruelty to animals regulation of livestock market rules 2017 and prevention of cruelty animal regulation Dog Breeding Marketing Rules 2017 and Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Pet Shop Rules 2018 were notified by the Government of India. Ms. Moleki has been nominated by several state governments to be a member of Slaughterhouse Monitoring Committees, Animal Birth Control Implementation and Monitoring Committees, etc., which have been constituted in compliance of orders passed by the Honorable Supreme Court of India. She has worked extensively across various states to spread awareness about animal welfare and ethical treatment of animals. She is also a member of Uttarakhand State Animal Welfare Board. Ms. Moleki was awarded the prestigious Nari Shakti Puraskar 2018 
by the President of India for her contribution to the field of animal welfare advocacy. In 2018, she was awarded the Distinguished Alumni Award in the field of animal welfare advocacy by Lucknow University. In 2018, she received the Outstanding Animal Protection Award from the Human Society at Kansas City, USA. She is also a recipient of the Lush Prize in London for her contribution towards reducing unnecessary use of animals in laboratories. She has worked with various ministries of the government of India and several state governments to formulate and implement policies such as human transportation of animals, human slaughter practices, effective population management, and the protection of wildlife. Ms. Moleki has innumerable achievements and contributions to her credit in the field of animal welfare. The team of Insights Bharat feel extremely privileged to have Ms. Moleki here with us today. We welcome you, ma'am. Ma'am, since our today's subject is the ABC program, if you could please explain our viewers what exactly is the ABC program and what are the rules which are formulated under the Prevention of Cruelty of Animals Act and under what circumstances it can come into picture. Also, what exactly the legislature wanted to achieve by introducing the ABC rules. Over to you, ma'am. participants i'm sure uh your all all your participants i'm sure want to know uh how they can protect animals better and no better place to start than the animals that are right there in the streets in front of our homes and offices and uh, who have nobody to uh, look after them feed them and uh, a lot of people um you know want to help them but they are either prevented by their neighbors or prevented by their resident welfare associations or sometimes there's opposition from every other quarter so today um let's let's see quickly uh, in the next 15 minutes what are the laws and after that uh, we can make it more interactive by taking a lot of questions as many as we can during this short uh, webinar we'll take as many questions and solve people's problems uh, at least guide them towards a solution so that they are able to help animals better so first of all we have the prevention of cruelty to animals act which was made in 1960 and uh, this act basically allows uh you know any any uh, such person to be punished who's been cruel to animals in any manner whether it's beating or kicking or uh you know killing an animal uh, or, or trying to uh you know starve an animal keep it on a very short leash not giving it enough exercise all this is violation of section 11 and section 3 of the of the prevention of cruelty to animals act um once the act was notified in 1960 it was felt that certain segments uh, of animal protection require more explanation require detailed rules so in 2001 when mrs menaka gandhi was environment minister the government of india came up with something called the animal birth control rules now these were not you know imagined by anybody they were these rules were made on the basis of a report which came out um, uh, by the which was published by the world uh, health organization now i'll give you a little background of this when the britishers used to rule our country at that time what was what did we do with the street dogs everybody killed them isn't it the municipal work was basically about killing dogs and killing rats and killing cats and all kinds of animals uh, they would put out poison and then you know uh, all the dogs would suffer really badly and die uh, there was no law to prevent this and everybody was free to do it but did that solve the problem did that eradicate dogs uh, from the country no was our country the only one suffering from a population of dog uh, you know population no they're all developing countries have a population of scavenging animals because we have a very bad urban solid waste disposal system so if there is protein lying in our heaps of garbage protein is any food which may not be edible by us but is still uh, you know edible by other scavengers so so long as our urban solid waste system is not robust then we will have scavenging animals if you kill all the dogs today there will be millions of rats and mice tomorrow which are a more inconvenient species than uh, than dogs 
or if you kill all the rats also somehow magically uh, then you would have cockroaches so what all are you going on going to go on killing so world health organization came up with a strategy and said that killing has historically never led to a result never given sustainable uh, solutions and hence killing is actually counterproductive so what happens is i'm going to first in short tell you about the science of it uh animals don't reproduce like human beings human beings have a capacity to reproduce as much as they want but animals reproduce only as much as there is food in the environment so if there is a lot of food in the environment or maybe the dogs would have larger litter sizes their uh, capacity to uh, you know their life expectancy would be, would be a lot longer but if um, there is less food if there's no garbage they would perhaps uh, not be as uh, prolific in their uh, multiplication so in order to stop their multiplication altogether the animal birth control needs to be done these surgeries need to be done and this is why the indian parliament adopted the animal birth control rules 2001 here in these rules these are very simple rules they're written in baby language so anybody who is an activist and wants to help animals can please just google animal birth control rules 2001 you will find it on any uh, platform uh, you can look at the awbi website there you will find it and you can easily um read it and understand it uh, basically it says that uh, that the local bodies every local body and what is a local body a municipal corporation or a municipality or uh, you know any urban local body or a rural local body has a mandate to uh, establish animal birth control centers to equip them to provide them with vehicles and manpower so that surgeries of these dogs can happen and in what manner they are to happen the procedure is also laid down if there is um, you know a, a dog that is suspected rabies how to deal with that dog is in detail laid down it has to be kept for 10 days of observation in the animal birth control center and you know if it dies of rabies then that's that's it and if it is um uh, you know survived the 10 days then obviously it's not suffering from rabies and it can be neutered and vaccinated and let go so these rules are very very simple and um, all it requires is that for the local body to create an abc center what does an abc center it requires an operation theater post operative kennels it requires a doctor's room maybe a medicine room and a couple of toilets you know just a hospital like situation because this is an uh, this is a surgery it's not like cataract of eyes that you go and get it done and be released the same day the stomach of the female is cut open and the uterus and the ovaries are extracted in a male the testicles are extracted all this is under general anesthesia so it cannot be done under a tin shed or under um, you know a tarpaulin it has to be a proper hospital now a lot of times the municipal corporations are confused how to make it and they don't have animal expertise and this and that so further uh, when the matter was going on in the supreme court and the supreme court asked the animal welfare board of india to come up with a module a detailed module an sp that was also made it's also available uh, online but if anybody wants it i'm going to leave it with the with the with, with the two of you and you can mail it to anybody who's watching this and uh, wants to have a copy of the revised module which has the entire sop also has an implementation framework uh, in chapter 6 so just it has all the details what all methods of surgeries are allowed or not what kind of infrastructure is required what kind of uh, uh, you know um, catching techniques uh, are allowed or not allowed you know hand catching is allowed net catching is allowed but catching with a lasso or a loop is not allowed stuff like that catching in any cruel manner is not allowed earlier we used to see a lot of dirty catching uh, with poles and uh, all kinds of uh, nooses uh, at the end of poles where a lot of dogs used to get injured and even strangulated and die so all those cruel cruel methods are not allowed and um, 
the sop is very detailed so if you want to go into further detail please get the revised module so we come we've now covered a three step situation first your pca act your prevention of cruelty to animals act which disallows kicking beating any kind of torturing of an animal second you come to the animal birth control rules where the rules are very simple very short and anybody can read it in 5 minutes you only have to google for animal birth control rules third you have the module which is a detailed sop anybody who wants to start an animal birth control pro uh, program in their city or wants to check up on an animal birth control program in the city because a lot of people have problems they say that um, the abc going on in my city is very cruel it's not uh, you know something is not right with it but i don't know what's wrong with it so you will know what's wrong with it if you read the revised module which we will make available uh, through this platform um also one more thing uh, a lot of rwas generally say you know especially the fancy ones the very very uh, up market ones a lot of rich people stay they say oh, you know kutton ko hatao all the dogs need to be removed we we live in such a fancy place we don't want dogs in our area and anybody who's feeding dogs is just not okay so we we are going to disallow dogs and we are not going to um we just want them removed and they think that removing dogs we'll get them rid of dogs uh with these people should just move into some other countries where the solid waste disposal system is very good because um, if you remove dogs from an area and these dogs were if they were sterilized and vaccinated and they were acclimatized to that area and they were friendly with those people and if you remove them then new dogs will come in because india has 4 crore dogs you and you cannot escape them other dogs will come inside and you never know they will be unvaccinated they would be unsterilized people would not be friendly with them nobody would be able to catch them for neutering and spaying so you're going to just escalate the problem by removing the dogs moreover removing dogs from an area is illegal as per the uh, the, the animal birth control rules and also as per the supreme court's order supreme court has specifically stated that all these innovative methods of getting rid of dogs cannot be uh, you know uh, executed by anybody neither any person nor any local body nobody can start removing dogs or anything in fact what i'm going to do is there's a whole compilation of all kinds of orders and uh, uh, the supreme court orders uh, there are certain magistrates orders there are uh, the, the rules are there uh, the district magistrates orders Uh, we made a compilation of all of that and i'll send you a combined email of everything so that you can pass it on to whoever would like to use it for the protection of animals yes ma'am so, uh, so this is basically the gist of it and uh, now let's let's um, uh, look at some questions so that i can give you situation specific examples you're mute thank you ma'am uh, when people think about abc program the first question that most of the uh, people have in their mind is that uh, some people are of the view that uh, stopping the natural birth cycle of animals by forcefully sterilizing them is also a kind of cruelty upon them the question that they have is that uh, what is the need for controlling the birth of animals and stopping their natural birth cycle forcefully uh they start equating this uh, with increasing population of humans and see it as unnecessary cruelty on animals uh ma'am what are your views on this there's nothing natural about dogs on the streets nothing natural we have interfered with the natural order so much so much that we have turned wolves into dogs and uh, now these dogs are proliferating on the absolutely unnatural garbage that we have spread in our cities this is not natural and uh, neutering them is not cruel at all in fact even if it makes the dog go through some pain and some inconvenience it is much less compared to the humongous amount of cruelty that happens to litters upon litters of puppies that are born on the road and then they get crushed by cars or hit by people or driven out by societies there's there's every reason uh, to to believe and to know 
that uh, neutering animals is actually the most ethical way forward because like i said there's nothing natural about dogs on the streets they should not be there uh, and they are there because of because we are a filthy race of uh, people we we just a species that is very messy and we make our cities and our habitations into very messy places which is why these poor creatures are uh, you know uh, they are living a, a life of really really humongous cruelty imagine uh, yourself or any you know anybody who's watching should imagine themselves uh, as living on the road not knowing where the next meal is coming from uh, just getting you know kicked from every side and nobody to complain to at least being a human we can at least um, open our mouths and say that that it hurts uh, these poor creatures can't even do that so there's no reason in making them multiply there's nothing natural about uh, or, or any um, maternal justification there's just none these they just need to be neutered uh, effectively and in a in a massive manner so that uh, the few dogs that are uh, that are remaining uh, should be um, adopted by people kept in homes they deserve a family they deserve people to look after them uh, so that's how it goes um uh, ma'am in the matter of animal welfare board of india versus enagraja and others uh, the honorable supreme court recognized five freedoms of animals uh, which includes freedom to express normal patterns of behavior uh, giving birth is a natural cycle which is normal pattern of behavior so ma'am how do you see this and how do you advocate sterilization under abc program in view of this particular judgment see the law is now in place under the prevention of cruelty to animals act the law has been framed uh, for neutering of animals so ideally the debate ends there <laughs> because the rules are uh, you know have been notified and they are in force uh, moreover control of dog population is an exemption in uh, section 11 sub section 3 so if the dog population has to be controlled and actually a uh, a reasonable method has been prescribed in the rules for controlling uh, the dog population um then you cannot say oh but the dog requires to have uh, you know a litter every 6 months in order to feel natural enough so there's just no justification of that neither in welfare nor in ethics uh, or in law okay so ma'am we have a new question so uh riktanjali asked role of the society members chairman of the society municipal corporation etc with respect to abc program societies are made for uh, for colonies or uh, you know for groups of flats to look after the you know little uh, local issues um and societies are registered under the societies registration act of india now every society needs to make its bylaws these bylaws cannot be overruling or in repugnance with the law of the land which stands so if the parliament has made a certain law the society cannot make a law which is anything other than uh, in furtherance of the same uh, law of the land so if the uh, if the abc rules exist then the society's bylaws should either complement them and you know uh, talk about uh, how uh, the society resolves to ensure that animal birth control takes place in in and around their society uh, or or be quiet about it but they cannot go against the law of the land and declare because a society is not an independent country with a constitution of its own no it is within the boundaries and the jurisdiction of india so it has to follow the indian laws they cannot say that okay here's our constitution here's our bylaw and if i am the president and i am making a notice that all kuttas will be out of the society no that's not possible and there's enough citation there uh, 
there is enough case law there the compilation that i will send you will have some orders which can be used against any society president or secretary who wants to make bylaws they are very fond of making bylaws they say humne to bylaw bana diya hai now all pet owners will have to pay this much money all that is nonsense how can you penalize i mean tomorrow they might say oh, oh only oh, only young people are going to stay in our society all old people will have to be thrown out so there's no justification like i said a society is not an independent country it is within the jurisdiction of india they will have to follow the indian laws they will have to follow the pronounce pronouncements of of the supreme court so um they their their role and their um, uh you know duties are as much as any other indian citizens under article 51 ag of the indian constitution ma'am as you rightly said that society cannot make their own laws uh, but uh, in reality we see that um, the people who are compassionate towards animals or stray dogs and are feeding them uh, society people and chairman and people who are against uh, feeding stray dogs they corner them and they uh, pressurize them to stop feeding them or stop taking care of them so what uh, can such animal lovers can do about that okay so a lot of times these so there could be more so a lot of times um, people are harassed now i wouldn't immediately give the advice of saying oh run to the police station and get everybody arrested it doesn't work like that so uh, i mean after all people have to stay there and um, a, a, a good practice is to be a good neighbor you know so um, sometimes uh, for instance i'll give you an example uh, i used to live in a in a colony in dehradun and um, i had six dogs in my house and i used to feed some dogs outside and my six dogs were a pain in the neck for everybody because the, i, I was being uh, the only person in the house whenever i stepped out of the house the dogs would just start howling you know even though they were fed and i tried everything right from uh, keeping the radio on and the tv on and maybe recording my own voice also and leaving but the minute i would start from the house uh, you know the minute i'm out the gate they would all howl like wolves you know like that disgusting sound which sounds very good to us but is not very pleasant for people around the house so uh, with all that happening there was a lot of opposition and uh, sometimes people would come they would ring the bell and say you know your dogs are so noisy this is not okay and you know there are about 15 dogs sitting outside your house this is very disturbing for all of us so um, i it would have been very easy for me to file an fir and say oh isne mujhe intimidate kiya and whatever but rather than doing that and rather than picking a fight uh, one fine day i just uh, so everybody in a good mood standing somewhere outside now when i said namaste i'm so sorry you know you're bothered but these animals have been rescued they had really bad lives and i'm so grateful for your patience with them uh, even though it might be a disturbance but you've been so kind uh, to at least support me and whatever uh, even though they didn't you know give people the credit show people the good side the, the good side that we show to animals you should show it to people also you know uh, and say you know whatever just just make up things and be nice to them and try to diffuse the tension not when people are shouting us samay koi nahi sunta but at an opportune time find an excuse to just you know diffuse the tension show them that you know look at this picture it came with a maggot wound i couldn't leave it there I had this problem now even i am bothered sometimes but tell me is it is it human now what to do i have to uh, make sure that it doesn't uh, you know, suffer more and uh, you know i'm just doing my duty as a good citizen i'm not even asking anybody for it you're not even government funded we're just doing it for our own you know um the thing and it's just some blessings that you will get if you just be a little more patient with it some good things you say and i have seen in 80% times people just melt if somebody is more vicious if somebody is hurt an animal then there is no scope for conversation if somebody is taken a danda and marud some dog or you know uh, has 
done anything more uh, vicious which is inexcusable then it's nicer to just take the matter as per law and file an fir uh, in the nearest police station in dono ke beech ka bhi ek rasta hota hai uh, sometimes aapke batane se koi nahi sun raha fir karne ke liye the police says oh but the section is non cognizable and there is no uh, you know grounds made under section 429 of ipc as in the dog is not hurt in anything so uh, we are not going to file an fir in that case i very use just speak to the sho that see this is becoming a law and order situation in our society and it's um, you know these people are really threatening to do something you know tomorrow if something more happens then you'll have to file an fir it's going to become a bigger case why don't you call them and just explain it to them the law and then if they stop doing it the matter will diffuse you know again if, if somebody gets caught by the police even then there is no fir i have seen in about 15% remaining matters wo bhi nibat jate hain so in about 5 out of 100 cases you need to go to the police but when you go i mean for an fir uh, so in 500 in in 5 out of these 100 matters you need to use the section 429 of indian penal code and you have to use section 11 of the prevention of cruelty to animals act section 111 n is cognizable please remember that uh, killing of an animal in case the animal has died then do not leave anything unturned no stone unturned get cctv footage get the post mortem of the dog done through a government vet um, because if there is no post mortem then the trial will be basically um, nothing it, it the accused will go scot free so just like there is a medical legal case if i am into an accident i would have to be taken to a government hospital to get my medical done or if somebody dies the post mortem is only done in a government hospital same way in a vetro legal case like in a veterinary legal case um the medical is to be done by a government veterinarian and even the post mortem in case where post mortem is required to be done should be done by a government veterinarian he will do it at the request of the police so once your fir is being registered the police will write a small note to the government veterinarian then you need to facilitate um the uh, post mortem or the medical to, to be done so that's how you go about it if there is resistance from your society i i love your enthusiasm about animals and i would really love to meet your all six folks uh so we have a question here like how to like how to identify that a particular dog is sterilized or not like if a, if a passer by wants to know like if that that female dog is sterilized or not like how do you determine it there's a v shaped cut on the on one of the ears of the dog because that's like i said i told you about the module the as detailed sop the revised module of dog population management which i'm going to send you that prescribes that every dog that gets neutered should have a v shaped cut on the uh, ear sometimes some agencies just make one you know straight cut you know uh, it, it the ear would be cut one of the ears would be cut that's how you identify that the dog is neutered or not um ma'am we have come across many complaints uh, that the method of catching the dogs of municipal corporation or abc centers is very cruel in human so what measures do you suggest for solving this issue yeah so like i said hand catching is the best like uh, there's several equipment available but um, the best agencies working in india uh, actually proclaim that uh, the best equipment that they could find is a biscuit you know you make friends with the dog and you'd be able to catch it very quickly uh, you may have to feed it for 2 3 days which is why feeders are such an important part of the abc program feeders are important because if you're feeding animals every day it's that much easier for you to catch them um like i belong to uttarakhand so um in dehradun it's it's still easy to catch dogs but this is like masuri where the dogs are half wild half domesticated they just run up in the hills it's impossible to catch them unless they, you you have to go around looking for a feeder that who who is the feeder of these animals because only the feeder can catch them nobody else can catch them uh, 
So females are really important because some dogs are uncatchable. So the biscuit is the best equipment, uh, you know, uh, for most of the good ABC programs. For instance, in Lucknow, the ABC program goes on, but there's a 120 uh, feeders ka WhatsApp group uh, who know their sub feeders in the other areas in all the zones. And the ABC agency, whenever they are going out, they first uh, tell in the the group that this is the zone in which we'll be catching. So all the feeders, you know, come to assist in catching. That's the most, that's the best way of catching dogs, hand catching. Just go the me utalia and ho gaya. For some dogs which who don't trust humans as much, uh, the butterfly net is very effective. So butterfly net is available with um, several organizations sell it or equipment manufacturers sell it. You can buy it from anywhere. Um, sometimes maggot dogs also who keep running, you know, any dog that has a maggot wound, poor thing, it just keeps running, 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 tries to leave the pain behind it seems. But, uh, it's, it's very difficult to catch them even for people who know the, know the dogs well. Uh, so butterfly net is very effective in catching such dogs. Um, otherwise, sack and loop method is, uh, is a good method, which is approved in the SOP also. But sack and loop method requires some technical training. I can't catch them because I'm not trained in doing that. So only trained people can catch with the second loop method. Otherwise, uh, I would say for uh, new organizations and generally for an organization uh, to catch dogs, the biscuit and hand method is the best. And definitely if the method is looking cruel, if the municipal corporation is catching with a pole, with a noose at the end of it, that is cruelty. You can put your foot down and say this should not be allowed. Make a video of it. Show it to the mayor. Go, 15 people go to the municipal commissioner and say this is not going to be allowed in our town, in our city. Uh, we are not barbarians living in medieval times. We will not tolerate this kind of inhuman activity on our streets. And please stop this right now and throw these people out. Otherwise, train them. And we'll train them, we'll teach them how to I mean, take responsibility. It's very easy to point fingers and say, yeah, thik nahi, wo thik nahi. but actually to take responsibility and say, you know, we are going to train your people now. Go to the mayor and say, we are going to tra uh, train your people. We are going to teach them, but you need to promise that you need, you need to come up with an order that this kind of catching would be disallowed. So I think that's a good way forward. And that would be acceptable to most municipal corporations. Just shouting, screaming, giving press releases, doesn't really help. Go with a solution to the corporation. Say, aise nahi, aise karte. That would help. Like, like normally feeders are very much frowned upon by society. Like they'd say, like, why do you feed the dog? They're not supposed to. And this is the first time that I came to know that there exists a WhatsApp group of feeders. So that was very surprising for me. Oh, so, uh, so, so my next question is, uh, like, if someone sees that uh, ABC center is not working properly, so can like, what is the uh, report mechanism? How can you report that ABC center is not functioning properly? The guidelines are not being followed. What is the complaint? How do you launch a complaint, and how the mechanism gets solved? So first, you need to know the the guidelines very well, because if you make a half baked complaint, nobody will take you seriously. A lot of people write two-liners, you know, our ABC or something like that. You can't do anything with that complaint because there's, there's no specifics in that. And you will be able to point out specifics in your complaint only if you um, know what the specifics are, which are not being followed. So first, if you want to check your ABC center in your, in your town or city, Please read every document in the email that I'm going to share with you, a compilation of all the relevant documents. Once you've read it, then you are now tayar for checking any ABC center. You can, you know, visit it like a volunteer or anything, observe, make, uh, you know, evidentiary videos or, or, or photographs or something and make a complaint to the Animal Welfare Board of India because uh, they are the ones who need to register all the animal birth control um, organizations. If you read the ABC rules, it says that animal birth control can be carried out only by an organization which is registered with the Animal Welfare Board of India. So if you inform the AWBI that uh, this so-and-so ABC center is not functioning all right, 
then they will take action moreover you can give the same complaint to the corporation or uh, you know municipality whichever is running the place uh, or funding the place uh, you can give a complaint on you know to them as well and then uh, any complaint given to the government actually functions best if there is a pressure group now what happens is even municipal corporations ignore complaints uh, from welfare groups because the resident welfare associations and the people who hate dogs and the people who want them dead uh, come in like huge numbers to the corporation office and they are the ones who are making a lot of halla gulla hmm? so but wo bichara ek feeder char line ki complaint likh ke chup ho jata hai so who's going to bother about him so it's always nicer to you know make whatsapp groups of all your feeders in the in in your city uh try and unite try and raise your voice or put your case forward in a civilized proper nice manner in a legal manner before the municipal corporation in a united way when the mayor sees i mean mayor is a political head of the corporation the cor- the municipal commissioner is a bureaucratic head of the corporation so a uh, bureaucrat would be interested in the law that you will point out and mayor would be interested in the number of people who are coming hmm? so if there's one one or two people it's like b slope to rws se aaye the there are more votes over there so why should i bother about this one person who's saying some supreme court whatever you know i'm a politician i don't care hmm? but a corporation person would would uh, value your representation and your report if it is nicely drafted if it's if it has all the necessary material if it has the supreme court order attached to it, it ha- if it has the evidentiary value that here your corporation your abc center does not even have shadowless lights over the operation t- operation table the operation operating table is not uh, clean the medicine uh, you know uh, medicines are not adequately kept or, or the surgical sets are not enough or the kennels are not ventilated properly or the flooring is not all right in the uh, in the post operative kennels or the people working over there uh, are uh, handling dogs in a cruel or unhygienic manner something like that whatever is the is the problem or or that the dogs being discharged from the abc center are uh, being observed with open wounds um, and and uh, broken sutures or whatever is the whatever is the uh you know the shortcoming in the abc center needs first to be made a proper uh, report of once you made a report then you can go to awbi you can go to the corporation and if the corporation does nothing about your report you can file an rti using 10 rupees and ask them please provide me with all the documents related to any action taken on my uh, complaint then they will start doing something on it <laughs> perfect solution ma'am yeah um so um the uh, many viewers want to know ma'am that how does avc centers function as a whole and also in terms of maintaining records etc uh, so where uh, from where does the funds come for avc centers is it a government organization which carries out avc program or it is a private organization uh, so people there are animal welfare organizations who conduct the animal birth control program anyway without any money from the government but there are some places where the government uh, gives a certain amount of money per dog and uh, the idea is that when uh, the uterus and the ovaries of the female are removed or when the testicles of a male are removed uh, they are kept in a jar full of formalin formalin is a preserver basically of these uh, organs and once in a while once in a week or month the municipal corporation team comes with veterinarians and they count the organs and based on that they give a certificate so many dogs have been neutered and they thereafter per dog ke hisab se the payment is made to the animal welfare organization generally the payment ranges from 800 to 1200 rupees but in many uh, places no payment is made and the animal welfare organization does it themselves however if all protocols are followed as per the sop if everything is done then the minimum amount spent on a dog would absolutely exceed 1500 so 
NGOs do spend from their pocket as well, no matter how much the government is paying. So, ma'am, if somebody finds that ABC centers are not taking care of dogs properly, or uh, like something is not right with it, then if they complain to the board, uh, what action can board take against ABC centers? The board can derecognize them. If the organization is not recognized anyway, a lot of organizations are not recognized and they are doing animal birth control. That is against the ABC rules because the ABC rules say that you have to be recognized. uh before you start doing these surgeries so if you're not recognized then also the board needs to be informed so that the board can write to the municipal corporation that you know you're flouting the law or if the organization is recognized the animal welfare board of india can consider it derecognizing them after conducting their own uh, inquiry as well um and uh, you know just remove them from doing further damage If there is very cruelty, then maybe an FIR can also be initiated. So, can any monetary penalty be imposed on them? No, there is no such provision in the Act. Um, one more thing uh, that the rules provide for is a monitoring committee to be made uh, at the level of the local bodies. So, the corporation or the municipality or whatever needs to have an animal birth control monitoring committee in which some NGOs can be made part. so whoever is a feeder should go you know as a group to um, the mayor or the municipal commissioner and ask them to constitute a monitoring committee and try to become a part of it because if you are part of it then you can make sure that it's running nicely and that uh, the work is happening properly and if whatever the shortcomings are you can discuss it in the monitoring committee and try to uh, implement them uh, nicely but uh, but you can't be of any use if you have not read everything if you don't know your revised guidelines your module and you don't know the abc rules you don't know uh, you know the solutions to problems then the government will not value you you have to know the solutions you can't just say this is not right aise nahi hona chahiye matlab kaise hona chahiye ye nahi batayenge kuch nahi chalega So, ma'am, uh, the offender uh, can be can offender be prosecuted under PC Act 1960? So, sure, of course, you can either file a, a non-cognizable report, an NCR with the police station if there has been violation and if there is evidence, or you can put a complaint case straight for the magistrate. Both cases, the prosecutor, the offender can be prosecuted. Okay. It's a criminal act and it's a violation of Section 38 because Section 38. is the section under which the rules are uh, uh, are notified hence uh, the section 38 will apply violation the penalties are also in section 38 um i'm from your experience how often do corporations release funds for the abc programs where there are uh, okay now if you read the the supreme court order in slp 691 of 2009 dated 4 10 which will be in the compilation that we'll send you uh, that order states that every state also requires to have a state animal birth control monitoring committee headed by the urban development secretary so and and there also a few animal welfare people can actually seek uh, me- uh, to be members so like i'm member of several states uh, animal birth control monitoring committees there the state government needs to create a budget head so we've got for instance in uttarakhand and in up and now even in jammu and kashmir we creating a budget for animal birth control once a budget is created at the state level then the corporation will also create a budget for it once a budget is created then the money will come it's not like my daddy's pocket money thing na ke bas de diya to de diya there has to be in government there has to be a budget created first because they have to create that purse once the purse is created then money will come inside it from there the uh, you know proposals have to go up and down it's it's a whole process because you can't ask the government for grants the corporation the corporation will not give grants the corporation will make payments and those payments have to be in lieu of services those services have to be hired after a process of tendering and that tendering has to be in two manners one is a 
a, a technical bid and a financial bid so the technical bid has to have the minimum requirements you know for any implementing agency which is that needs to be an animal welfare organization must be registered with the animal welfare board of india must have experience in this that or whatever whatever must have trained veterinarians must have trained handlers all that is a technical bid you qualify on that then you come to a financial bid if the corporation hires the organization to do this work then they will make the payment from that purse that they have created but that budget that purse needs to be created so if it's not created in your uh, corporation and if you're just saying abc karo abc karo then you will lead to nowhere so first you have to ask them to create a budget to create infrastructure then get an organization and then start the animal birth control don't jump to you know uh, uh, the letter z before you've done the whole alphabet uh, um, have a question from a viewer in three parts so i'll just ask, um one by one uh, he says i am a resident of a society in thane maharashtra ours is a society of 320 apartments there are eight stray dogs within the society premises all are 3 to 5 years of age uh, there are four out of these eight dogs who have been biting society members and vendors and there have been almost 70 such biting cases in the last 10 months uh, we definitely can't displace dogs but what is the solution that could be offered to reduce the biting cases to nil all dogs have been neutralized and vaccinated so not neutralized neutered okay yeah sorry okay now dogs bite for specific reasons they are not डॉग्स आर नॉट बाइटिंग मशीन कि कुत्ता है तो काटेगा ही ऐसा नहीं होता है यू नो डॉग्स बाइट फॉर स्पेसिफिक रीजन फीमेल्स बाइट बिकॉज दे आर प्रोटेक्टिंग द लिटर्स दे वॉन्ट टू प्रोटेक्ट दर बेबीज लाइक एनी मदर वुड प्रोटेक्ट द बेबीज मेल्स बाइट समटाइम्स वेन द फीमेल इज ऑन हीट एंड दे ऑल कंपीटिंग फॉर मेटिंग विथ हर देर आर सम सिचुएशन वेर अ डॉग इज बीन बिटन डॉग इज बीन हिट by humans or aate jaate people have been throwing stones at it then they develop a biting tendency again i'll give you a personal example uh if you um, you know perhaps go to connaught place in uh, in new delhi then uh, you will find you know all these fat lump of dogs you know huge big they're like bolsters they're just lying down on the on the walkway and um, they they refuse to get up also people have to jump over them to walk you know or if you go to khan market in delhi there's such fat dogs wearing coats in winters and they have bands and whatever they just don't bother about humans at all because they're so friendly they're so friendly people have been good to them that's why they are good back to humans they never bite humans however i spent a lot of my time in kerala uh doing a lot of work in fact i used to spend months on end in kerala i was never in kerala any district able to touch even a single street dog why because the minute they would see humans they would either come to bite so that you run away or they will run away but they have their experiences are so bad with humans because every time people see a dog they just pick up something to hit it so the dog develops it's a acquired behavior that humans are enemies the minute you teach that to a dog it becomes very difficult one i mean neuter dog has testosterone taken away from it it's not defending its territory it's not defending its babies it's not defending uh, you know competing for mating so why is it biting it's biting because people have been bad to it if only you know some amount of conditioning can be done an animal behaviorist can be called and um, you know uh, some basic tricks of you know subah subah if somebody can start feeding them they'll start feeling better about humans and that will make everybody's life a lot easier in fact you can designate feeding spots in the society and at designated feeding spots which are away from children's play playgrounds which are away from clubhouses people can um, you know at designated spots just go and feed these animals they will feel good about humans believe it or not that's just a behavior problem 
and it can be very easily corrected. The dog will be so surprised कि ये जो मुझे देख के भाग जाते थे वो खाना लेके क्यों आए But if it's a habitually biting dog, then it can certainly be sent to an animal um, birth control center for ten days observation. I've seen that. थोड़ा सा जेल में दस दिन बंद होके ना इनका थोड़ा सा बिहेवियर स्लाइटली इम्प्रूव हो जाता है एंड कम बैक एंड एंड दे आर बेटर बट एनी अग्रेशन शोन टू स्ट्रीट डॉग्स विल बी रिटेलिएटेड बाय इक्वल अमाउंट ऑफ अग्रेशन सो गेटिंग अग्रेसिव और नास्टी विद स्ट्रीट एनिमल्स विल ओनली इंक्रीज द प्रॉब्लम फॉर आस बींग गुड टू देम फीडिंग देम फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम इज समथिंग दैट कीप्स दी एंटायर प्लेस मच मोर फ्रेंडली I give you an example here in uh, Dwarka some couple of years ago now um a lot of there was a colony with a lot of uh, dogs and people used to object to dogs and whatever but reh rahe the to reh rahe the and one fine day um it was found that 15 dogs had been poisoned and killed and uh, it was just a blame game everybody was blaming everybody else and Uh, the people who didn't want the dogs around were actually very happy ke mar gaye mar gaye chutti ho gayi hmm? but what happened was that the following night there was a big decoity in the society and a, a lot of houses were robbed so um, and then police put two and two together that they killed the dogs so that the dogs don't bark so if you keep friendly dogs in your societies if you are good to them if they are neutered and vaccinated they will be excellent watchdogs they will be uh, a, an asset to the society they will be protecting uh, your homes they will basically more than any mechanical alarm clocks or you know buzzer systems that you might have they will be uh, you know the guards uh, of our homes like they have always been as man's best friends definitely am now i know the reason why you have six dogs okay so uh, now i know why why you have six dogs and now i have more than 100 so that's all right that's better okay so uh, like uh, ma'am i came across a wto report which said that almost 20000 people are killed because of rabies uh because of the stray dogs that bite them now uh, like do you think there should be a national policy with respect to uh, the vaccination also the policy right? is there the module that i have been talking about is basically called revised module for dog population management and rabies eradication that is the full name of the module and based on that the mission rabies and everything else carries on and uh, of the government of india and that is the only in fact who did not make that report in the year 2000 because they really like dogs and they were all dog lovers they made it because rabies had to be eradicated so the dog population management and animal birth control program came into being because of rabies management because this is the only method of controlling rabies and nothing else works so um, killing them or removing them will actually make the rabies situation much worse in fact the first city to be rabies free in india was chennai where 100% dogs were sterilized now it's another thing that the city corporation area has been expanded and lots of other uh buffer areas have also been uh, you know included in the corporation area where some unneutered dogs are also there but uh, jaipur again uh once seven, more than 70% dogs were neutered the city was declared rabies free so that's that's in order to control rabies you need to control dog population the only thing you can do is vaccinate neuter so ma'am uh, next question is from one of the viewer she is seeking guidance from you on one particular issue uh, she asked uh, also one of uh, one i have initiated the project possible paw civil in uh, ayodhya where we are continuously working for the welfare of strays we do not have a good surgeon in the city also one of the vet from the government hospital received the abc application upload approached me if i can do something about the abc policy he suggested me to contact private vets and nagar nigam for financial help i have no idea who will help me for their sterilization please guide me who can i contact for the help 
like i said you require uh, an animal welfare organization to conduct the program it's not just uh, um, you know if it if it has to be for random you know street dogs across the city but uh, ayodhya i believe is a municipal is a is a nagar nigam it's a corporation so they will first need to build infrastructure if it, if a high throughput program has to carry on if it's just 10 15 dogs in a certain colony that she's looking at any any private vet can con- conduct it who has who has some training in in such surgeries but uh, otherwise first the the infrastructure has to be made um you know for which a monitoring committee first has to be constituted and then the monitoring committee has to push for a budget and infrastructure and then maybe a tender has to be floated for an agency to apply and come in um a, a good model to be followed would be in lucknow because ayodhya is in the same state so lucknow model uh, can be copied and i'd be happy to um, share that with you uh ma'am we have a viewer question so can street dogs be neutered by individuals and uh, can it be done and what is the it depends if you get it done from an animal birth control center it should cost you nothing uh if it's run by the municipal corporation if you want to take it to a private vet it can cost from anything between 2000 to 15000 depending on what kind of uh, hospital you're going to okay ma'am even if you get one dog neutered you change the world for that one dog because then it it gets more healthy you know uh puts on a little bit of weight doesn't have to chase females or protect babies so the life of that one dog becomes so much better once you neuter it so now uh, one next question uh, one of the viewer asked uh that can i take one of my strays for sterilization on the 18th day of her heating cycle and she was on heat and been mated to yeah i'm sure yeah if the pregnancy is not confirmed you can absolutely go and get a neuter okay so ma'am uh, there are many uh, requests for you in uh, rather than questions if you uh, permit i will pass on the request to you why don't you okay. just put them all on an email now and send it to me and then i'll yes. reply guys and one consolidated email of compilation of all orders like i promised i'm going to send you and then you can give it to whoever requires it okay that would be very helpful for a lot of people because sirf it's not enough to love animals you have to know how to help them and yes. unless you read you will not be able to uh, be effective certainly not with the government um if you would require a municipal commission to do something then you need to know your laws otherwise nobody will take you seriously and you will just be one crazy person who just like likes animals a lot so uh, due to the paucity of time uh, we'll take um, rest of the questions through email and we can reply them as per uh, ma'am's uh, compilation of order when it's in yes we we'll do that uh, so uh, now that um, we have come to end of today's session uh, the session was extremely informative and insightful we thank you ma'am uh, for uh, conducting such an insightful and informative session for insights corner and uh, for taking out time from your busy schedule for today's session and supporting insights bharat in its initiative to create awareness uh, i thank you on behalf of entire team of insights bharat and its viewers for gracing today's event with your presence and providing your valuable insights on subject of abc program and educating all of us about it we hope to have opportunity to seek insights from you again in future on some other important topics thank you beta god bless you and keep helping Whoever you can, bye bye. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Um, viewers can uh, mail us uh, their requirements. We would be uh, sharing the uh, compilation of orders and SOP provided by uh, Moliki, ma'am. And uh, email ID you can find on our social media handles. Insights Bharat will soon be back again with the session on some other important subject. Till then, stay tuned. For regular updates of upcoming webinars, viewers may follow and subscribe Insights Bharat on its social media handles 
link for which are given in the description see you next time jai hind jai hind